Hello, Neo Sentience One here, and uh, just want to welcome everybody back. I know it's been a while, and um, if you look back over my channel, um, you know it's been up for over a decade now, and <sighs> most of the time over the past decade, I've not posted much. A few reasons why. Number one. Um, I've not really felt ready. So if you look back far enough, you'll see videos that I was more zealous than I was knowledgeable. Okay. Over the past decade, I've gained more knowledge and um, it's time. Now it's time to say stuff. Okay. You also see uh, bits of a movie on this channel, um, Forevermore, the Carla Faye Tucker story, or some people might call it Carla Faye Tucker Forevermore. However, Helen Gibson, the filmmaker, gave me permission to put it up on this channel recently, though apparently uh, at some point YouTube started putting copyright tags on it, not for the movie itself, but for some of the songs that were in the movie. So I took those down, and uh, if you go and look at any of the Carla Faye Tucker stuff now, all, I'm pretty sure on all of them in the description, I've put a link to the actual DVD. Um, you can go grab it on Amazon. If you can find it cheaper elsewhere, go ahead. Um, it is a good movie. It's worth having in your collection. Um, you can still see bits of it. You might even be able to watch the whole thing on my channel um, if you're jumping from clip to clip. But what I found to be one of the more interesting things is the real life interviews that were bonus features on the DVD. Those are still up. So, welcome to check those out. Anyway, back to the reason I made this channel it was not just for that movie. That movie came after. Um, Neo Sentience 1 is Neo, meaning new. Sentience is mind, uh, consciousness, life form, creature. As the Bible tells us, when we become born again, we are a new creature in Christ. That's where the name comes from. So, now that I. <sighs> remember like I said I was more zealous than I was knowledgeable um, and I, it's true you know if you want to know things you kind of have to close your mouth and open your ears and I've done that so long now that uh, uh, there's just so much in here now that it has to come out and here's another thing what I've noticed is especially in the Western version of uh, churchianity people want to profess a faith in Jesus Christ I don't aren't you a Christian yes that's not because I profess it it's because I confess it Bible says that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord it's not a profession I don't just make a proclamation there's no sense in that that is not the Christian way the Christian way is to align with God to do what God does, to agree with God in everything. So when it comes down to it, and you're asked, what is the truth? If you confess it, you, you're admitting to the truth. Okay, the truth is the truth, and you just confess that that is what it is. They always say, pro is the opposite of con. Well, get that straight. If you're not confessing, faith in Christ and you're professing faith in Christ <sighs> I 
I have to wonder if you're really a Christian. That's just something to think about, okay? I'm not making any declarations, any judgment calls right there. Just something to think about. Okay. So, what are you going to see on this channel from here on out? It's 2019, decade of pretty much no videos, and I apologize for that. But then again, I don't, because what would I have been putting out during that time? Honestly, could have been anything. Yes, I was more zealous. I sh should have been speaking out while I had the urge to do so. But then again, even though I was growing, growing in holiness and I was getting my theology straight, there were still some things that I think if I spoke back then, I probably would have said the wrong thing. And God forbid, led somebody down the wrong path. So what I want to do with this channel is just speak the truth. Um, I want to have a few different series, I guess. Um, one would be like a Q&A kind of thing. If you have questions about the Bible or interpretation or so on and so forth, uh, shoot me a message. Um, just make sure to do the at Neosentience1 in the comments below. Uh, the video and ask your question and as long as your question is really a question and not just being contentious then I will try to do my best to tackle those subjects um, my Twitter handle for some reason I'm locked out of it I think it's because way back when I think I signed up with a Yahoo account and my Yahoo account has long since been uh, blocked. Um, not really because it it wasn't really blocked. It's been compromised, and I provide all of my data. You know, here's my driver's license, social security number, birth certificate. Here's a picture. And here's all my other links and everything. They don't care. They're like, well, we can't verify it. What do you need? Anyway, so. Um, so I want to do a Q&A. I also want to have conversations. Um, I've got a really good friend, um, Ronnie, who is a pastor of two churches. And uh, man, he, he's a really good guy. He's uh, really got a heart for the Lord. And it'd be great to have him on here and we can talk about some things. And I've got a few other friends who uh, I think would be really good to have conversations with. Obviously, these would be, you know, Christian conversations, biblical conversations. Um, but if you guys know me, you know my flavor is not to sugarcoat things. I want to give it straight. So, and I don't, I don't know if I ever posted the video I wanted to post on my uh, views of words. You know, what is a cuss word? What is blasphemy? What is this? What is that? What's acceptable? What's not acceptable? What's just a social construct? So on and so forth. And if I go back through my channel and find that it's not there, I'll try to put it out. Um, some of the topics that come up will be pretty raw. Um, some of it can be kind of graphic not for the sake of being graphic though it is purely for the sake of honesty truth transparency um, you know the subject comes up and says can two men sit and talk Bible over a beer I sh I don't see why not I don't I'm not a drinker hardly ever like hardly like really almost ever like maybe one two three times a year uh, but I do believe it's possible and uh, anyway don't let that flavor you um, as long as I'm convicted I will follow my conscience okay and I urge you to do the same. If you're convicted, follow your conscience. 
if you think you're never to put alcohol to your lips, don't do it. If you think you should never smoke a cigarette, don't do it. Do not violate your conscience. What else? Um, other series. Like, I kind of... I love doing skits, but they're getting harder to do, especially by myself and everything. Um, if I can come up with skits, I'll probably do skits. I like them. They're fun. Um, usually do a topic of the day kind of thing, maybe, even if it's not daily. But there's political things to come up, and, well, you know, with politics, not that I want to be political, but there's a, there's a reason people have difference in policy and it's usually based on worldview well the reason we have issues is because somebody's wrong usually most people are wrong well, guess who's right the Bible's right so we'll talk we'll tackle some of those subjects too um, We might, we just might do a uh, regular Bible study kind of thing. I'm not sure how I want to go about that. If I want to go through it verse by verse, I'll start at the beginning, start at the end. Um, and another thing you're going to see on this channel, even though it's not strictly Christian based, it is going to be from a Christian perspective. Um, so, a lot of things people use words, um, and too often they don't know what the words mean, they misuse the words, they say the words opposite of what they mean. Um, words, phrases, intentions, and so to kind of be a debunking there, and for an example, um, the whole idea of PC, politically correctness. Um, when people say, oh, that's not PC, what they are trying to say is that's not nice, that's not polite, that's um, uncouth or uncalled for or whatever, but that's really not what politically correct means. Now, if you can see this, imagine there's two politicians one of them's giving a speech and he's kind of off the rails afterwards his buddy comes up to him and he says hey man is that correct did, did is that statistic correct is your view correct and the guy's gonna say to him you know basically no that's not correct not factually not statistically not scientifically not morally However, politically, it's the correct thing to say. Politically correct. It's, <laughs> that's the only way it is correct is politically correct. It's not correct in any other sense. Okay, that's why it's called politically correct. It only fits the paradigm of politics, politicians people who are trying to climb the political ladder or or people trying to sabotage another politician's ladder so that's what politically correct obviously is not correct but that's one example of when people call you out on it and say oh you're not being very PC say, thank God I'm not a politician I'm not trying to get elected I'm not trying to you know screw over the populace I'm just being correct to be correct so there's that anyway uh, I guess that's gonna be my video for welcome back no flash no glitter no phantasma just it's me here I am let's do something good let's correct the things that are not correct let's teach guide 
all in Christian love.